Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Friday, so it is weigh in day. We are going to talk about my week, set some goals for next week, go over this week's a WW workshop topic. They actually started a new series this week, and of course, I'm going to share my weigh in results with you. So if you're excited for this video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're new to my channel or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell next to it so you never miss a Friday weigh in video. I do upload at least five days a week, so make sure you're subscribed and your notification bell is turned on. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories absolutely essential to be successful is to know what you should be eating every day to reach your goals. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you want to chat with me directly, there's several options for that as well. So check that out before you go. Links, discounts to all my favorite things are also down in that description box as well as my Facebook group. We'd love to have you head on over and join our community over there. So let's jump into weigh-in, workshop topic, and let's set some goals to be successful this next week. So I want to start out with sharing with you how my week went. It was quite an interesting week. If you follow me over on Instagram, and if you don't, come on over, follow me there. I do update you pretty regularly on there. The beginning of the week, I was struggling with my computer. It ended up having a bad motherboard after two years, so I had to buy a brand new computer. So it was very stressful. I didn't have a computer for a couple days, and that means that I couldn't work for a couple days. I couldn't edit videos. I couldn't really do much of anything that wasn't using my my phone. And then of course, when I lost the motherboard on my computer, I lost a lot of my data, which means I had to recreate intros, outros, artwork. It's been a pretty stressful, hectic week. Good news is I do have a new computer now, so things are going really well. However, it is a Mac, which I've never had before. There has been quite a learning curve that has went along with this. So I had a lot of added stress this week. Luckily, I did get to Jazzercise two out of three days. The third day I was planning on going, but the class was actually canceled because the instructor was having some issues with her daughter and couldn't teach the class. So I ended up only getting in two days, which helped really a lot of that stress and allowed me to just move my body a little bit more. I'm also in the middle of my May challenge, so I have been getting in at least 30 minutes of exercise or activity. I should say activity, not an exercise every single day, which has been amazing. I feel so much better just moving my body that little bit extra every day. I'm also staying in my calories and points secondarily, and I am drinking my gallon of water and doing a little bit of something nice for myself every single day which also has been so important this last week with all of that added stress. And to compound all of that, my cycle just finished, so I was on that as well while I didn't have a computer. So this last week was one of the most stressful weeks that I have had in a very, very long time, but I am so proud of myself that I didn't take that added stress and turn to food. I actually had an incredible week food wise, which I'm so proud of myself. That is something that in the past I would have immediately turned to food. And I really credit this May challenge in my Facebook group for that because I have that commitment to staying in my calories all month. And that wasn't an option for me when stress hit. So I'm thankful for the challenge and I'm proud of myself on the same hand for that. So before I share my way in results with you, let's chat a little bit about this week's WW workshop topic. It is based on exercise or activity. The title of this week's topic is, are you ready to get stronger here's how to do that so this week's topic is about adding in strength training that doesn't mean that you have to lift weights but try adding in a little bit of strength training to your exercise routine plan when and what you'll need to do to incorporate a little bit of strength training not all of us do strength training there are some of us that have never lifted a weight in our entire life so you have to classify yourself into one of three different categories when it comes to strength training category number one is you are completely new number two you've dabbled in it and number three you are literally all about adding in that strength training. Did you know that there are strength training programs as part of your WW app? You don't have to join a gym. You don't have to pay for strength training. They are part of the WW app. If you are someone who is brand new to strength training, there's a class called Getting Stronger that's part of Active in your WW app. 
If you are someone who's dabbled in strength training, there's a 12 minute total body strong class from Gabrielle Union in the fit on portion of your app. And if you're all about the strength training, there's a full body functional strength, which is a more hardcore strength training in that WW app. Those three programs would be if you were somebody who had some type of weightlifting or strength gear on hand. Now, what happens if you don't own anything? If you're new to strength training, move your body a little bit more. While you're brushing your teeth, do squats. While you're folding your laundry, walk in place. Just moving our body a little bit more is so beneficial to weight loss. If you don't have any strength training gear, but you've dabbled in strength training a little bit, grab a chair. There are so many body weight exercises that you can do using a chair, especially squats. It's a great great way to build up the strength in your leg muscles. And if you are pretty proficient in strength training, use the stairs to your advantage. You can run up and down those stairs, squat, lunge. There are so many things you can do just utilizing the stairs in your house, or if you don't have stairs in your house, any type of staircase, even outside. And once you are geared up for this strength training challenge, if you are brand new to strength training, make planks your best friend. Start with a small amount of time doing a plank and work your way up over a 30 day period. No gear required. And it's a great way to just get your core strong so that you can be better at these strength training activities. If you are dabbling in strength training already, how about a 30 day push up challenge? Challenge yourself to increase the number of push-ups that you do every day for 30 days. And if you are all about strength training already, how about a 30 day tone it up challenge where you go hardcore building strength, upping your weights throughout the course of 30 days. Again, in your WW app, there are several strength training workout options. The ones we mentioned already in today's video, but there are several others. Two minute exercises, seated exercises, stair exercises, that 30 day plank challenge, 30 day push-up challenge, and that 30-day strength training challenge. You can find all of that as part of your WW app. A couple other tips when you're embarking on strength training, make sure that you are adding variety. We get really bored if we do the same exercise over and over. And in fact, our body gets used to that exercise if we're doing it over and over. So make sure you're varying it up, trying different programs, trying different parts of the fit on or the active portion of the app, and try some new workouts to give your body that little bit of a shakeup. You don't have to own dumbbells you can use resistance bands. You can also use items around your house in place of weights or dumbbells. That can of beans in your pantry serves as a great way to add a little bit of extra weight for your strength training. And lastly, slowly increase the number of reps and the weight over time. Once it becomes too light for you or too easy, that's an indicator that you need to add some extra weight or some extra reps. So let me know down in the comments if you're someone that does strength training or if you're new to it but you wanna start incorporating it into your weight loss or your healthy lifestyle journey. I get my strength training in from Jazzercise, which I really appreciate that it's fully encompasses cardio and strength all in one class. But I have also upped my weights from three pounds to five pounds now to six pounds during class. So that's what I mean by as it gets easier for you, up your weights and up the intensity and the number of reps. So stay tuned for the rest of this month for this Get Stronger series from WW. So now let's talk weigh-in results. Like I mentioned, I am Finishing up my cycle, I still have a couple of days left, which is always the worst time of the month, as we know, to weigh in. But I've also been on point. I've been moving my body. I've been drinking my water. In fact, I have my water right here for today to get my gallon in. And because of that, even mid-cycle, I'm still down 0.6. I lost 1.4 last week, 0.6 this week. So that's a total of two pounds lost in the month of May, which is right on target for what I was going for. So this just motivates me to keep doing more of the same, keep tracking my food, drinking my water, moving my body and reminding myself of positive things that I'm proud of myself for or things that I love about myself. Like I said, that has made a huge difference. I've told myself things I've never told myself. I've written positive things down about myself I've never done before. And that's really helpful helped with the mindset and making me feel better about not only my body, my mental health, who I am as a person, my physical appearance, and that's really helped me just stay on track during this May challenge. So now I wanna hear from you. I wanna know about strength training. I wanna know how your week was. Did you gain, did you lose? Was it what you expected? And what are your goals moving into next week? So if you enjoyed this weigh-in video, give it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, you know I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so you don't miss a single video 
video. Check out Nutrition Coaching down in that description box so that I can do your macros, your calories, and if you want to chat one-on-one, -on -one, I do offer that as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things in my Facebook group are also down in that description box. So head on over and join us in Facebook as well. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy Friday. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.